Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mrs. Witch. And then the witch locked the fairy and all the elves in a big cage. Help! Help! They shouted. Hee hee, I'll never let you go, said the witch. Oh no! Why did she lock the children up? Because the witch was very naughty and the children were annoying her. Ah! All the chasing around had made the witch hungry. So she ate a mouldy old cake. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Ooh! Why did she eat a mouldy old cake? That's what witches eat. And she drank a glass of sour milk. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh. After that, she fell asleep. Snore, snore, snore. She's asleep, said the fairy. Quick, let's escape. So the elves broke open the cage door and the fairy princess got her wand back. Ooh. Then the witch woke up. <gasps> Get back in your cage, cried the witch. But the fairy was already casting her spell. Zip, ping, current bun, witch's magic, all undone. In a flash, all the children were set free and the witch, stuffed full of mouldy old cake, couldn't catch them. The end. Hooray! Then what happened, Mummy? Um, the witch was told off for being mean and nasty and made to wash dishes for the rest of her life. Ooh. Horrible things, witches. It's a good job they don't really exist, isn't it? Oh, but they do exist. I know a witch who lives in the woods. Really? Yes. I can take you to see her if you like. But won't she lock us up in a big cage? <laughs> no. Witches can sometimes be a bit naughty, but only when they get very annoyed. Mummy, do you think we should go and see the witch? Yes, why not? Nanny Plum will protect you. And then you can see for yourselves how disgusting witches are. Come on, then. Let's go. Bye. Have fun. Bye-bye. Nanny, what are witches like? Are they scary? Not that scary. But witches are a bit smelly. Ooh. <laughs> and do witches use magic to do nasty spells? Witches hardly ever do magic. And they're not that good at magic anyway. Here we are. This witch hasn't done a spell in over a hundred years. Ooh! Knock, knock! Who's there? Nanny! Nanny who? Nanny Plum! Oh, Nanny Plum, do come in. What a treat. A real fairy and an elf. Yes. This is Princess Holly and Ben Elf. Come closer so that I can get a better look at you. See, she's not frightening at all. Just a bit smelly. What's that? Don't touch anything, children. Why can't we touch? Because it's dirty. What's that? Don't worry, dear. I just wanted to show the children how a real witch lives. Oh, I see. Would you like some rat milk and worm cakes? Uh, no thank you, Mrs Witch. We've already eaten. Mrs Witch, can we ask you some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if we don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore then? Oh, no. I just... Look. Witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. 
She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That. Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes. Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Quick, run. Mrs Witch really angry. And now Nanny's frozen like a statue. Oh dear. Daddy, if we don't do something, then Nanny will stay frozen forever. Hmm. We'll never see Nanny again. How sad. And there'll be no more lovely dinners. No dinners? What? Nanny Plum frozen? Yes. Show me where Mrs Witch lives. Was Nanny Plum rude to Mrs Witch? A bit. Hmm, witches can be a little moody. Are you going to tell Mrs Witch off, Daddy? No, I've got a better idea. Who's there? King Thistle. King Thistle who? Uh, King Thistle, King Thistle. Oh, your majesty. You must be the Mrs Witch I have heard so much about. Please let me explain. About your cleverness, your kindness and beauty. Uh oh Not to mention your wonderful cooking. Would you like a worm cake? No, thank you. I believe you may have frozen Nanny Plum. Yes, I have. But... I completely understand why you would want to do this. You do? Nanny Plum can be quite rude at times, but she's really not that clever. Yes, well... I am sure, being as clever and as kind as you are, and knowing that Nanny really can't help herself, you will let her go this time. <coughs> quite apart from that, I need Nanny to cook my dinner. I could cook you dinner, Your Majesty. That's very kind of you. I was just about to boil some toads in my hole. But I just need Nanny Plum back. I understand. Just one moment. Say thank you for having me, Nanny. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Mrs Witch, and very nice to meet you. I'm honoured, Your Majesty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Daddy, you didn't tell Mrs Witch off at all. And you said Mrs Witch was beautiful when she's ugly and smelly. Well, Ben, there's a time for telling someone they're ugly and smelly and a time to be just nice. Hmm... Saying nice things about people always goes a long way. 
It's good to have you back, Nanny Plum. Thank you, Holly. Yes. What's for supper? <laughs> 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 